Every crowning at Miss World is the start of a new chapter. A chapter that signals the focus shift from pageant to global outreach program focusing on the world's most disadvantaged communities. For the last 46 years, the job of helping people has been the company's main focus and Miss World has done so much. From delivering aid in times of crisis to the inception of outreach programs such as providing fresh drinking water in Haiti, leprosy projects, operation hunger support in Africa, drives for cleft palate surgeries in South America. In fact, the global reach of these programs is staggering. This is the story that's never been told. The story of what happens when the gowns and tiaras disappear and the sleeves get rolled up in preparation for Miss World's beauty with a purpose. We've come over here to reach out to the remotest areas possible in the Amazon because it's important to spread the word amongst these communities who do not have access to that much of information. It's a really crowded place, but it has 20% of leprosy cases in Brazil. We're here to support APAI, which is an association that uh, works with uh, kids with Down syndrome. They have so much potential, but they need more areas of learning. It would be wonderful if the government could extend their support to build another floor so that there's more space. The Beauty with a Purpose team once again takes to the skies, this time bound for the land of the long white cloud. They've come here to visit a project backed by the organisation four years ago. We're here to check out Miss World New Zealand 2015 Deborah Project about Learn Coach. And Learn Coach basically really helps New Zealand students um, get a better grip on their study. And it's really interesting um, and I'm so excited to share it with everyone. <laughs> when everyone gets here, um, some of the indigenous people from New Zealand are going to do a haka popere, which is basically a welcoming dance. It's about uh, seeing whether you come in peace or whether you come in war. So obviously we're coming in peace. I'm going to have to walk forward with these tribal warriors and uh, hopefully it all goes well. and their peace offering. We're so honoured to have seen it today. Um, something very special indeed. Some quick hacker face memories and the team are whisked off to begin their media campaign. This starts with an unrehearsed and live TV broadcast interview on local television. The topic of today is going to be beauty with a purpose. So a lot of people in New Zealand don't know much about it, so Minushi is here to teach us all. We're about to have our interview here at Maori TV. And we're going to be talking about beauty with a purpose and our projects here in New Zealand, so it's going to be really good. Kia ora. this December, Māori Television's very own Jessica Tyson will represent New Zealand at Miss World in China. Miss World is a multi-million dollar business that attracts a billion viewers each year. For the very first time in history, two Miss World heavyweights are here in Aotearoa. They landed just this morning, and so it's a great privilege to welcome the reigning champion Manushi Shila of India and her predecessor Stephanie Delvace. Pageants like Miss World are often criticised for objectifying women. What do you say to people who do criticise this? Well, um, I think uh, half knowledge is dangerous. So for people who actually know about pageants would realise that it's actually empowering women. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, we're all young girls and we're getting an opportunity to do something big. Yeah. And that, that's, a, that's empowering for us. We feel more confident about that ourselves. We learn so much. Mm -hmm. A group of women can't empower by putting another group of women down. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Not at all. <laughs> but uh, there's so much more to it. It's about the journey. It's about, you know, being in a competition with different girls, being in a healthy competition, learning so much, overcoming your fears, your insecurities, yeah. being on a stage, the kind of confidence you gain. Yeah. This world is more than just a beauty pageant. Yeah, isn't of that course. Right? Yeah. yeah. Every single year, it's approximately 120 girls that come to compete, and each girl has a project. So the Miss World organization is 
clearly a platform for all these young women in their countries to have the opportunity to make a change, to make a difference, and better the lives of so yeah. many people. We thank you so much for joining us. Keep it real, keep it native. Tonight, the team are guests of honour at a welcome dinner. Well, good evening, everybody. And for those of you who are new to New Zealand, kia ora. I'd like to particularly acknowledge Beauty With A Purpose, what you've been doing over the years, and some of the great charities that you've given to. And it's an opportunity to meet a Beauty With A Purpose legend, Dr Deborah Lambie. In New Zealand, we're so grateful for the support um, that we've received from this world for the work that we do in New Zealand. Um, and for me personally, for the work that we do at Learn Coach. And with the support of Miss World and Beauty With A Purpose, we have been able to help over 200,000 New Zealand students. For more than 200,000 children that you're working for, um, giving them this opportunity to be able to learn, uh, which is again free of cost, uh, I think that they will be able to realise their dreams and there is no better feeling in this world when you're able to make your dreams come true. We're really excited to have the opportunity for you to show New Zealand what Miss World is really all about. And for us who have been involved with Miss World, we know that the heart and soul of Miss World is really beauty with a purpose and giving back. And that's what Miss World is really about. In 2015, Deborah came to Miss World with a project so unique that it would forever change the landscape of education in New Zealand. And it all started with this presentation. Failure. It's not a word that any student or parent wants to hear. It's right up there with other words like expelled or head lice. But in New Zealand schools, failure is everywhere. One in ten students fail everything, while more than half of students fail to get university entrance. When I grow up, I'd like to be an author. A prime minister? A dinosaur scientist. All around the world, children have big dreams. But the harsh reality is that here in New Zealand, one in ten children will not finish school. They leave with few future prospects and without the skills they need to make their dreams happen. All children should have a chance to succeed, regardless of the country they were born in or the type of education their family can afford. In 2012, Deborah and her now husband, David Cameron, no, not Britain's ex-Prime Minister, had a vision to make learning clear and simple. I saw in my own school students that were younger than me that were really struggling. And so I used to help these students one-on-one -on -one after school in my own time. And then from that I was like, how can I help more students? So I made the tutorials and put them online and was like, maybe I can help instead of one-on-one, -on -one, maybe I can help 10 students. And then from that it really grew and grew and grew. In a nutshell, this is how it works. Jared is an NCEA student who wants to get good grades. The problem is that Jarrett finds study boring and sometimes a little confusing. This is where LearnCoach can help. Jarrett can sign up to watch free NCEA tutorials on the LearnCoach website. Tutorials which show Jarrett exactly what he needs to know for his exams in the fastest possible time. When I was a medical student, I met so many children who had to have a lot of time off school because they were really sick. And one particular boy that I met had cystic fibrosis, and this meant that he was off school for two weeks at a time, like many, many weeks in a year, and would have up to six months off school in a year. And you just can't get the education that you need if you're always off school sick. And so that's where Learn Coach really started, after meeting these children who couldn't be at school because they were unwell, and we thought there has to be a better way for children who don't have access to school, or a normal school, the chance to have an education. How did Learn Coach help? Learn Coach saved my life. My dad sent my report card. He had the biggest smile. I got my first achieved grade in maths. Maybe I'll try for university after all. I can remember when I was little being at school and at the start of the year my teacher came in and he said, I don't like you and you don't like me so let's just get on with it. And that kind of attitude that we sometimes see in teachers is so destructive to young children and to learning itself. So that's why at Learn Coach we've got something different and something that has a different approach that we believe is really working and is changing people's lives. You know it works when like a lot of students rave about it and not just teachers. And I have to say like a lot of my friends also use it. They always like ask me like, how do you do so well? And I'm always just like, it's from Learn Coach. Like it helped me. Cause last year I know, in physics, in the common test, like, so before our exams, I was getting not achieved, achieved, and then afterwards I was getting, like, excellence. Like, it was actually, like, really helped me. 
So in New Zealand we have those 185,000 students who are in school, but we also sadly have students who are out of school or, or who can't attend school, who are sick or who um, live in a rural area, and LearnCoach has been able to benefit those students as well because all you need is an internet connection and a computer and then school comes to you. It's a classroom without walls. There is no doubt that LearnCoach is a fantastic educational resource, but what's even more incredible, that it's also a self-sustaining enterprise because the videos are hosted on YouTube. And once they're there, they make advertising money. So this maintains the upkeep of the tutorials and pays for the website. So this means the same tutorials can help the thousands of students who are gonna be in their final year next year. And the year after that. And the year after that. In fact, it was such a great project that in 2015, Deborah won a special commendation and the Miss World organization agreed to support LearnCoach. Not only has Julian Morley and the Miss World organisation been supportive, but they also made a donation two years ago to the Trust and to Learn Coach, and we were able to use that to make content and make tutorials. So they really helped us to help the students here in New Zealand, and that support meant such a lot. Hi, everybody! Today we're here at Pomaria Primary School to see the effects of Learn Coach on children aged 5 to 11, but first we're here to appear on their radio show. Y88.2 from your local school radio station. And today we have two Miss Rose with us and we're going to give them an interview. We would like you to introduce your name, please. Um, hi, I'm Manushi. I am Stephanie. And my name is Barney. So I don't know if you know, but Manushi's job this year is to travel the world and to help all kinds of charities, all kinds of children all over the world. Is there any kind of charities that you guys like to do? Uh, we don't really do anything. <laughs> But you guys help out your community, yeah. right? Well, that's already that's already good enough. That's yeah. great. It's a great start. The kids of Pomaria Primary School are going to be our test subjects as we evaluate how beneficial the program is for them as we put them through their paces. I'm Deborah, and this is David, and we make a, what we think is a very special online learning platform, and it's called Learn Coach. And so, what we'd like to do today is get you going on Learn Coach so that you can see how it works. In the future, when you're a little bit older, you'll be able to use it for your NCA exams. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah. How many How many years is it till you'll be doing NCEA? Five. Five years! <laughs> oh my goodness. So you've got lots of time to prepare. So by the time you get there, it'll be super easy, hopefully. And so what we'll do is we'll show you a video, and it's on writing an essay. And the main purpose of essay writing in English is to convince people of your point of view. So shall we get you all going on Learn Coach on the computers? Yes! Woo! <laughs> Let's go. While the kids head off to start their Learn Coach journey, Deborah shows Manushi and Stephanie how the program also caters for university students. Not only do we have um, stuff for secondary school students, we also have um, for university. Oh, that's great. Um, and so we've got here Biomed, which is obviously relevant for you, Manushi, because you're travelling and can't study. Um, so here, here's Biosci 107, which is part of pre-med at Otago University. So you could watch this and you could learn all about like the cell, the cell structure, osmosis, intonicity, connective tissue, human tissues, human diseases, muscle physiology. Oh my god, this is amazing I'm, I'm like, okay, I, I, I really need this now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'm not studying at all oh, because of my one year. Yeah, because you're taking time off. And I, and I need to study. Yeah. This is so convenient, like when you're traveling. I know. Yeah. And because that's the idea, it's like kids or you, people. You can, can use it outside. Yeah. Music, right? Yeah. Oh, well, like anyone, anyone can use it. It will just be like specific to like our university courses. But like it will still be like. But like medical science is still the same. Yeah. Medical science is medical science. Yeah. yeah. Like all the textbooks I read are from are from like authors from. All Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's on like Indian office. Because yeah. that's what we realise is it's like so people take time off school for lots of reasons. They could be sick and like like having treatment and not able to attend school, mm -hmm. or they could be like an athlete, or like you, like Miss World and having to travel around, or like the other thing that we were thinking about is people who are like adults who've missed out on school and are like in prison, mm -hmm. or like at refugee camps and who can't like access education. Like all people need is a computer to yeah. do this, yeah. um, and it's like it's just, like making it more accessible. The online tutorials make learning fun, and the students seem to be following them with ease. Despite the fact that they're made for an older age group, their progress has been remarkable. So this is a video for 15 year olds. So it's five years older than a lot of these, a lot of these students. I actually feel like this was meant for us because it was so easy to get on and we understood it easily. If you can't go to school, this is very helpful. The learn coach. 
I love this. Did you ever expect Learn Coach to have the impact that it's had on the lives of, lives of these young children? No, if you had told me back in 2012 that thousands or hundreds of thousands of students would use that, I would have been so surprised. When we made it, we just thought that if 10 students benefit from this, then our job would be done. And then when we put the website first up, um, 10 students did use it and we were like, wow, that's great. And then 50 students used it and we were like, wow, that's amazing, that's working really well. And then before the maths exam, that was about four weeks after we initially put the website up, I think there was more than 1,000 students had used it and we were like, that's actually incredible. So we're delighted and still surprised about how how, the, how big the uptake's been of the website. So at the moment we have more than 150,000 students every year signed up and using our website, which we think is amazing. And there's been more than a million tutorials viewed in total since 2012 when we started. So how many students of that age group are there in New Zealand? I think there's about 185, 190,000 students. So about 80% of the students in New Zealand use your program? Yeah, that's right. That is astounding. Yeah. That's what we think. We're just super happy that we've been able to help and we're really lucky to have had the Miss World organisation help us as well. The project has been so successful in New Zealand that Julia Morley wants to make it a global programme and plans are currently underway to roll out Land Coach in several other countries. Winning the Beauty with a Purpose Award gave Deborah the funding and inspiration she needed to take Learn Coach to the next level. It's now a nationwide platform all across New Zealand, helping kids from schools far and wide, and very soon it will be a global one too. The kids have loved having Miss World as their guest for the day, but one young man wants a much longer relationship. I'm sorry to ask you. Yeah. What do you mean? Ah! And with Manushi's first wedding proposal now under consideration, the team move on to another worthy project, preparing and serving dinner to the families of sick children at the Ronald McDonald House in Auckland. Here in New Zealand, we've got houses in uh, Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch, and we serve families whose children are away from home who are going through a medical uh, journey. So we, have, we look after the families while the, the children are up in the hospital behind us. And last year we served more than 3,700 families um, and accommodated them for about 42,000 nights of accommodation, all for free. For many years, the Miss World New Zealand team have supported this charity as a part of their Beauty with a Purpose mandate. We had a basketball court here, but there was a, it was just a, a, a net. And we decided it would be a great place to sink a basketball court. Turned out that at Miss World New Zealand, they wanted to, to be partnered with us to make it happen. So uh, the ladies from Miss World uh, raised about $60,000, and these girls have done a fantastic job. RMHC relies on an army of volunteers donating their time in different ways. And tonight, the team are joining the project director of Miss World New Zealand, Rose Folger, to cook for 120 residents. Uh, I'm asking her to do the salad. Uh, mix of uh, what is potato, spinach, baby spinach, and then um, beetroot and cottage cheese. cheese. That's it. That's all she does. I'm currently on the chicken. I'm um, Preparing the trays with the drumsticks so that we can put them in the oven and get them cooking as soon as possible. Barney's having trouble opening his bag of chicken, and Manush is just tossing salad while I'm here for um, eight pumpkins deep. You know, Seth, what are you doing cutting a pumpkin? Well, it's quite a workout, and this is really like you need a lot of muscle to do this, which I don't have. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to go to the gym anymore. Just nope, not. just no. put the pumpkin. <laughs> when you look at the facts, I've marinated the chicken drumsticks. I've put them in the oven. What she's doing, she's cutting pumpkins over there. She's a sous chef at best. I'm the real deal. I think Manushi isn't getting a chance to show her skills because I've been told she's a great cook. But, uh, you know, anyone can toss salad. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do in the meantime? Your next job is to help them do the dumpling. Okay, bring me over. Okay, yeah, there you are. While I take on my next cooking challenge and the girls talk tiaras and crowns, the rest of the kitchen is worried that they may not get dinner served on time. Make sure that everything is right. Okay? Lucy, it seems like you've been on the salad for an hour now. Is this as far as you've got? No, I've actually finished that one. Are oh, you finished that one? Yeah, I'm on the second one. Okay, should we give this one a little taste test? Yes. Okay. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> it's not bad. bad. Not bad? Not bad. Oh. <laughs> Rose, you said it was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect for a while, but we're not. <laughs> <laughs> After a long afternoon of preparing the food, the team managed to pull it all together to welcome in the hungry guests. We got a big line. So Chicken? Yeah, please, thank you. 
We're now serving the food that we prepared. I myself cooked the chicken. I've got the vegetables and a manushi over there. She's serving her salad. Um, so not, not many of people care of the salad because everyone moves on to the brownies, right? You put them at the wrong table. <laughs> How many would you like? Two or three? No, just one today. It's all coming along well. Everyone's eating and we're like doing the cleaning up already. So it's all happening in the kitchen. It's a remarkable end to a remarkable day. Sadly, we've come to the end of our journey here, but we leave in the knowledge that New Zealand's Beauty with a Purpose projects are in safe hands. With a three hour window to make our flight home, an invitation to walk the Auckland Sky Tower cannot be refused, as our visit to New Zealand finishes on a high, leaving us feeling on top of the world. meters above Auckland City, that's about 630 feet. This platform here is 1.2 meters wide and we finished the trip right around the other side of the tower. That's where we're finishing and it's 120 meters right around. Manushi's project that had such incredible success in India and now we're bringing it to South Africa on the most important day on International Nelson Mandela Day. It just couldn't be more perfect. And we have news just in, guys, because the first two sanitary pads have been wow. made in South okay. Africa. Wow, <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> Taking a beautiful woman, yet this is all for you. Take this one, it must belong to you. Take a two. That was something, wasn't it? Wow. Amongst all of this celebration, Manushi and the team are just about to be joined by President of South Africa. Please, this is Julia Morley of Hello. Miss World. Hello. 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 How are you? Very well, sir. Thank you. Why oh, are you getting younger every year? <laughs> the same of you. <laughs> <laughs> We're very, very proud that the first machine, the Aka first machine, is here. Watch me run.